Hey guys, as you know a few months ago I made a video on Particle Photon 2. After that video Particle emailed me and asked if I wanted to try out their monitor 1. Without hesitation I said yes because I love to experiment with new gadgets even I'm not familiar with them or what they can do. A few days later the package arrived. It comes in this box labeled Particle Monitor 1 Developer Edition. As we open it up we have the Monitor 1 itself. It's quite heavy and larger than I expected. Here we have few ports for antennas and other things. On the back we have a wall mount. This appears to be a power or interaction button. Let's set this aside and check what else we have in the box. Here we have some cables and three prototype ports. These are just blank PCB where you can attach different kind of sensors and other components to make your projects. Lastly we have another box which contains the power adapter. It's quite unique, it comes with interchangeable power plugs that you can install according to your country. Pretty cool right? So these are all the box contents. Now let's talk about the module. I'll be very honest with you when I saw it for the first time, I was out of my mind. I had no idea what we can do with it or what its feature were. So I started learning about it from their website. After spending some time understanding its function, I realized how useful and advanced this thing is. And I also got a nice project idea which we'll try to make but first, let me give you a rough explanation about the Particle Monitor 1. The Monitor 1 is meant to act as a rugged, customizable IoT gateway that can collect information, track assets and interact with other devices. In simple words, it's a monitoring device that can monitor anything, anywhere. For instance, suppose I have a fleet company and I want to track the real-time location, speed, fuel consumption and engine health of my vehicles. I can install Particle Monitor 1 along with some necessary sensor in each vehicle. The Monitor 1 will update the real-time data to the Particle Cloud. From there, I can access that data on my phone or any other device. This was just an example, there are tons of ways to use this thing. Talking about the features, it has cellular connectivity, GNSS location service, sports Bluetooth low energy, has an ESP32 for Wi-Fi, contains built-in IMU and temperature sensor, a built-in rechargeable battery, and plenty of serial bus options. It is built rugged for both indoor and outdoor usage, comes with IP67 rating and can survive almost any weather. It comes with a wall mount which is magnetic, you can install it on a magnetic surface without any screws. It's similar to other particle devices and sports particle OTK updates and all other particle IoT features. To start and activate this device for the first time, you have to open the top lid. This is how it looks from the inside. Now connect it to your laptop or desktop, then go to setup.particle.io and follow these instructions. I have already activated this device so we can move to my project idea. I wanted to make a weather station out of it. It will monitor the temperature, humidity and biometric pressure around my area. It will give me more accurate data because we'll use this BME680 sensor. It's a temperature, humidity, pressure and gas sensor. Now we'll take a prototype card and install this sensor on it. These are the connection in case anybody is interested. Now we'll remove the old board from the monitor one and install this one. Now it's time to put everything back together and upload the codes. This is the best part I can upload the code over the air without connecting it to the computer. This way I can provide updates or fix bugs without any manual intuition anywhere around the globe. Pretty cool right? If we head over to the particle console we can see the status. The project is working fine. Now we can use Blink to view this data on the smartphone or we can build another small project such as this clock that displays the time along with this data. I'll go with the second option. For this project, I'm using Photon 2, another development board from the particle, along with a display and a battery.
The connections are done and it's time to upload the codes. Alright, everything is complete. Let's check out how it works. As you can see it's working, we can see time, temperature and humidity among other things. However, we can't use it in this form so I built a small enclosure using a 3D printer. So let's install all the electronics inside it. Alright guys, it's done and looks pretty interesting. I really like the way this thing turned out. It's not showing any data because I disconnected the battery of the monitor 1 to give you an example of how this system works. Now we'll connect it back and it will display the data. Monitor 1 sends the data to the particle cloud and from there we receive that data on this device. Pretty simple right? Now I can mount the monitor one outside my house, either on the side or top to see the real time and accurate weather around my current location. That's it for this video, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. I have provided the links to the particle monitor one as well as other related items so be sure to check them out. I hope you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video, until then bye bye.